1146, just a soggy, what, it's a Tuesday out there. I almost said Thursday. It is a soggy Tuesday out there. And Grace, you're tracking even more rain on the way. Exactly. More rain to come. And it's going to stay with us, Marie. At least for right now, you're right. We're seeing a little bit of that rain get out of our system, but still gloomy and dreary. And like we talked about, more rain to come. 1148 AM, and it's mostly just cloud cover. That's on the Way 31 Storm Tracker, Early Warning Radar Network. And the same thing, that's on our Sky Camera Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. This cloud cover is going to stay with with us and especially gloomy there in Gunnersville, and really that will be with us for much of the rest of the week. Our temperatures, most of us hanging out in the low 40s, 42 in Huntsville, 43 in Decatur and 40 over in Muscle Shoals, but Scottsboro, you've seen a little bit less rain today, so you're a touch warmer at 50 degrees this afternoon. All right, well, let's talk about the big ice storm that's been barreling across Texas and even towards the East Coast. This is the system that we're monitoring. Now, this is going to usher in much colder air and for many of our friends in Texas and Arkansas, it's also going to usher in plenty of ice. That's that purple shade. This pink shade, that's freezing rain. And some of that could impact some of us in southern Tennessee or in very far northern Alabama. As a result, overnight tonight, Wayne, Lawrence and Giles counties in Tennessee are in a winter weather advisory. That's because they could see some of that freezing rain. We'll get to that in just one second. Let's talk about our high temperature for today. It's going to sit in the mid 40s for almost all all of us and be quite chilly, especially compared to yesterday's standards. Talking around dinner time tonight, we'll welcome in more rain into the forecast that'll give us a soggy night. But take a look as we head into the wee hours of the morning. That's when we start to see some of that pink mix in, which is, of course, freezing rain. Now, this is primarily concentrated in southern Tennessee, but some of us in Colbert County, even a little bit in Lauderdale County, could see some freezing rain. But widespread accumulation is not expected. When you head out the door first thing on Wednesday morning at six o'clock in the morning. It's going to be rainy, so you'll want your umbrella, but you'll also probably want a heavy jacket. Temperatures at that point will be in the mid 30s and feeling a touch colder. Now, what could we see overnight tonight as far as that freezing rain we talked about? Well, one one hundredth of an inch for those areas in pink in Fayette County. Now, if you're in Wayne Lawrence and Giles in that darker purple, we could be talking about two tenths of an inch. Now, freezing rain is when it falls as liquid rain, but instantaneously freezes when it hits the ground. That makes a very icy and glazy situation that can be difficult to drive on. So first thing in the morning, our friends in southern Tennessee, make sure you're taking it slow on your drive, even though it is likely that roadways will stay too warm for any large impacts to take place. All right, so that covers today. Let's talk about the rest of the week. It's just regular plain old rain, but plenty of it that's going to stay with us. Of course, we talked about first thing on Wednesday morning, but then we'll be similar to today where the afternoon time is mostly dry, but cloudy. Talk about dinner time on Wednesday. This puts us at 6 p.m. We'll have more rain coming into the forecast and overnight it will be our heaviest rain of the week and that's going to follow us all the way through Thursday. So heading out the door first thing Thursday morning at 7, a torrential downpour. You're going to want the rain boots with you at that point and that rain stays with us through dinner time. The good news is there is a light at the end of the tunnel and by the time we head to bed on Thursday night at 10 p.m., much of that rain has moved out of our way, and by the time we wake up Friday, we'll be completely dry. So that was a lot. Let's put it all in one place for you to look at it with your seven day forecast. We're talking about cold temperatures for the next three days on and off rain for your Tuesday. Some freezing rain expected in southern Tennessee and very far northern Alabama overnight tonight. Wednesday, it's that on and off rain again, but Wednesday night and into Thursday, that's the heaviest rain that we'll see all week and it will be with us all day on Thursday. The good news is we have plenty more sunshine come into our forecast just in time for this weekend, which I think we all deserve. After after a gloomy few days and our temperatures are even going to warm up slightly as well, meaning that Saturday, Sunday and Monday are going to be about as picture perfect as you could possibly ask for.